Hallelujah. Our immortal, invisible God, we bless your name this morning. Great and mighty God, dependable and omnipotent God. Lord, we praise you, God Almighty, for your wisdom and for your power. You are our God, O oh Lord God Almighty. You are the great and reliable God. We thank you for you have promised to answer when we call you, Lord. We delight ourselves in you this morning, Lord. We bless your holy name, Jehovah, the one who does wondrous things. Thank you for all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, we bless your name, O oh Lord our God for delivering us from the kingdom of darkness and making us your children, Lord, the children of light. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. Lord, our God, thine, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Thou art worthy, Lord. Thou art worthy, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your sustaining us, O oh Lord. Thank you for our family. Begin to thank the Lord this morning for each member of your household. Thank you for his protection, his goodness, his mercy, his kindness that he bestowed upon us. New every morning is his love toward us. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. You are praiseworthy, O oh Lord, for you created all things for your pleasure. And creation testifies of your greatness. Lord, we thank you. And we join the creation, Lord Almighty. We join our voice with that of creation this morning to praise you. For you are a great, a great God. With your great power, we bow down before you. We say, hallowed be your name, Lord. Hallowed be your name, O Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in our life, in our family, in our neighborhood, in our city, O Lord. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come, O Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray this morning. Father God, forgive me. Any sin, any sin in my life that will not make my prayer to be heard this morning, O Lord, my Father. Forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that, Father God, I acknowledge before you that, O Lord, my deceitful heart and my crooked thoughts, I acknowledge before you and I ask for forgiveness for speaking thoughtless word, O Lord, for my lukewarmness of to witnessing, for my inadequate of praying. Lord, I ask you to forgive me and cleanse me, Lord, for my inadequate reading of the Bible. Lord, forgive me, Lord. I pray, dear Father, for my blindness of the heart towards perishing soul. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. I cry out to you, Lord, just like David cried out to you this morning, that, Father God, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercy, blot out our transgression. Wash us clean, Lord, thoroughly from our iniquity. And cleanse us, O Lord, from our sin, for we acknowledge our transgression. And our sin is ever before you. Lord, thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because through the blood, we receive forgiveness. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for our Lord Jesus Christ, who have paid the price for our redemption. Blessed be to your name. Hallelujah be to your name. Thank you for your love. Your love is the one that draws us close to this morning. And Father, we have come into your presence. May your name be praised. In the name of Jesus. Let's bring our Bible out before we continue our prayer. We want to declare Psalm 16. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 16 this morning. Psalm 16. I want us to declare it. I'm not going to play it. So read it yourself. Keep me safe, my God. It's a prayer as well. Keep me safe, my God. For in you, I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libation of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. 
Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With Him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my tongue rejoices, and my body also will rest secure, because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful ones see the key. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This morning we're going to pray that Lord. Command the morning and cause the day spring to know his place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you command the morning and cause the day spring to know his place. Then let all wickedness be shaken out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, you command the morning and cause the day spring to know its place. Let all wickedness be shaken out of my life. Let all wickedness be shaken out of my family. Let all wickedness be shaken out of my of my neighborhood, of my city. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning because the Lord command the morning and cause the day spring to know its place. Therefore, Father Lord, let all wickedness be shaken out of our life. Let all wickedness be shaken out of our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Lord, let the morning and the day spring arise in my life. Lord, let the morning and the day spring arise in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let the morning and the day spring arise in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the dew of the morning be upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, let the dew of the morning be upon my life, upon my children, upon my grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, this morning, let the blessing of the morning arise in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. God Almighty, I ask this morning, let the blessing of the morning arise in my life and my every member of my household. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Father, let the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings and let every area of my life be healed in the name of Jesus, whether physical, emotional, or whatever it is this morning. Father, Lord, this morning, I've come into your presence. Let us, the Son of Righteousness, arise with healing in his wings and let every area of my life be healed. Let every area of my children's life be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I lift every member of my household before you this morning. Pray for your members of your household, your loved one this morning that Lord let the son of righteousness arise with healing in his ways and let every area of their life be healed in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen Lord you are his son and his shield for my life we told no good thing from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, according to your word, you are a son and a shade for my life. We told no good thing from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our God, you are a son and a shade for our life. We ask you this morning, we told no good thing from us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. With this new morning, Father, let new mercy and favor be upon my life and my household in the name of Jesus Christ. With this new morning, mighty God, I pray, let new mercy and favor be upon our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our God, because new every morning is your love. Father, Lord, with this new morning, let new mercy and favor be upon our life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning that Lord Jesus you are my day spring. Release more light and revelation into my life in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are my day spring. Release more light and revelation into my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are my day spring. Release more light and revelation into my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray that, Lord. 
Let wickedness be shaken out of my family. Let wickedness be shaken out of my city. Let wickedness be shaken out of my region. Let wickedness be shaken out of my nation. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, this morning I've come into your presence and I'm asking, let wickedness be shaken out of my family. Let wickedness be shaken out of my city. Oh Lord, let wickedness be shaken out of my region and of my nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Ah, Father Lord, we ask you this morning, let the wicked scatter as the day spring takes its place in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, let the wicked scatter as the day spring takes its place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. The Bible said that when men slept, the enemy came. Pray this morning that mighty father in the course of my sleeping whatever the enemy have done in my life let it be wiped out let it be rooted out any seed that god has not planted in my life that the enemy has used the hour of the night to plant oh in the name of the lord jesus christ because the word of god also say that any tree that the father has not planted will be rooted out therefore anything in my life anything in my family that god the father has not planted in the name of jesus let it be rooted out be rooted out be rooted out in the name of jesus christ let it be rooted out in the name of jesus pray this morning that mighty father whatever the enemy has used the hour of the night to plant into my life into my children's life into my family oh lord our god this morning your word say anything the father has not planted will be rooted out so father lord since you have not planted it let it be rooted out in the name of jesus christ it will not germinate it will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that whatever the enemy has agreed upon and he has decided that they will carry out this morning, this day, in our life, in our children's life, pray, declare this morning because the word of God say no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Declare this morning no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every man that shall rise up against me in judgment I condemn because this is my heritage as a servant of God. There are for in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has pronounced against me, that they have pronounced into the atmosphere concerning me, concerning my family this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will not occur, it will not happen in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Before I get carried away, let us go to today's passage, which is Psalm 111. So please open your Bible to Psalm 111 while I change the screen. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever, enacted in faithfulness and uprightness. He provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Amen. Hallelujah. To him belongs Some. eternal praise. Lord, we praise you this morning. Hallelujah. To him belong eternal praise. The wisdom of fearing God. 
for the blessing of fearing God. All that God does is good. The scripture uses this expression, the fear of the Lord, to mean being in awe and reference of God. And it teaches that this is to be a foundational truth in the life of every believer. Fearing God means knowing him for who he is, for who he really is, and being in a right relationship with him. We're told here that the doorway to wisdom, the key to living well, is to start with the fear of God. No one can obtain wisdom without going through that doorway. No one. Someone said that the, wis the word wisdom and decision are two concepts that you should be locked together in our mind. Every day of our life, we are faced with decisions. Some are small and seemingly insignificant, like whether to buy one kind of sandwich or another, or why other decisions require what scripture calls wisdom. Wisdom is frequently confused with knowledge. For example, a person performing a brilliantly on a TV quiz show show may have their mind crammed full of information knowledge but that doesn't mean they possess wisdom in scripture wisdom is very practical and often connected with ordinary people applied to life in general wisdom is the ability to live well by correctly using knowledge when deciding between good and bad decision. Simply put, it is knowing the right thing to do and the right time to do it. That is wisdom. However, living wisely doesn't always necessarily mean living safely. Sometimes serving God well means putting ourselves in harm's way for the good of the kingdom and others. You know, some people, or many people, have a big belief in God, but refuse to accept Jesus as anything more than a great human teacher. For us to have wisdom, the only way to become truly wise is to fear God. The same thought is expressed in Proverbs 7, I mean Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7 to 9. Too often, many people want to skip this step, thinking they can become wise by living by life experience and academic knowledge alone. But if we do not acknowledge God as the source of wisdom, then our foundation for making wise decisions is shaky, and we are more prone to mistake and foolish choices. I found this uh, expression, a prayer, um, by, it's a way back 1577. Sir Francis Drake wrote this profoundly wise prayer in his prayer diary. I want us to listen to it as I read it, when he talk about wisdom. He said, disturb, Lord, when we are too well pleased with ourselves. When our dreams have come true because we have dreamed too little. When we arrive safely because we have sailed too close to the shore. Disturb us, Lord, when with the abundance of things we possess, we have lost our thirst for the waters of life. 
have fallen in love with life, we have ceased to dream of eternity. And in our effort to build a new earth, we have allowed our vision of the new heaven to dim. It goes on, disturb us, Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wider seas where storms will show your majesty. Where losing sight of land, we find the stars. We ask you to push back the horizon of our hope and to push into the future in strength, courage, hope, and love. What is, you know, that is a powerful prayer. It's saying that some of us, we just want to play it safe and we think that is wisdom. That is not the wisdom the Bible is talking about. We need to ask God to give us wisdom. If it means our seemingly saved life at the store, the wisdom of God and the fear of God. See, the fear of the Lord is the beginning, the beginning. The fear of the Lord. And in the Old Testament, it has, you know, in the Old Testament, it has little to do with the common meaning of fear. We are to reference or to be in awe of God, not to be afraid of Him. To understand that is true. However, I suspect we often push this fearless approach to God too far. We forgot that the lion of the tribe of Judah is not toothless. He has fang, he has claws. A heavy dose of godly fear can prevent a massive case of sin enslavement and heartache. The reaction of God's people when the Ten Commandments were given at Monsignor is well worth noting. When the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smoke, they trembled with fear. They stayed at a distance and said to Moses, Speak to us yourself and we will listen. But do not have God speak to us or we will die. The very human fear expressed in this Exodus passage went well beyond a sense of awe and wonder. It was knee-knocking, heart-raising fear. This kind of fear that makes us dread doing anything that might offend this all-knowing, all-seeing, holy God. Yeah, that is every fear. A fear that helps us to live and walk straight. You wonder sometimes, why would God want to induce this kind of fear? God wants us to fear him because he loves us. He wants to spare us from the agony of the terrible consequences of sin. A heavy fear of God leads us to an awe-induced love for him. Now, that is what we call wisdom. My question to us this morning, what does fearing God mean to you? Is God your friend or your master? So this morning, as you think about it, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All who follow his precepts have good understanding and to him belong eternal praise. Father God, help us see your love. Your love for us in your commandments. In love, you correct us when we stray. Grant us understanding that comes through a healthy fear and love for you, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That verse 1 again said, I will extol you. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Let us pray this morning. Take my heart, Lord. Make it yours, oh God. It's a prayer of surrender. Take my heart, Lord. Make it yours, Lord. I give you all that I am. 
I want you to rule on the throne of my heart. Take my heart, Lord. Take my heart. Let me not share it with any other but you. I want you to be the king in my life. Lord, I want others to see who I serve. Take my heart, Lord. Make it yours, O oh God. I give it all to you, all that I am. I want you to rule on the throne of my heart. So, Father, Lord, I pray this morning. Put your heart into your people. Let us long to see your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord this morning that this word has so many temptations that try to draw me away, but I will keep my eyes on you, Lord. Make that determination. Tell him this morning that, Father God, this word has so many temptations that try to draw me away, but I will keep my eyes on you, Lord. I will keep my eyes on you. You are where I draw my strength from. You are where I find my refuge. You are my strength, Lord. You are my refuge. Declare to him this morning for who the Lord is to you. That, Lord, you are my refuge. You are my refuge, Lord. Let me never find peace in the arms of another. Let me, let me only ever look to you, my God and my King. Father, Lord, that I will not depend on any other thing but on you. Pray this morning that, Lord, let me never find peace in the arms of another. But I will lean on your everlasting arms. For you are my God. You are my King. And I look up to you. I look up to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. That verse 10 is being said. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Pray that Lord God, help me to love your word and your commandments. Father Lord, help me to love your word and your commandments. I desire to trust you with all my heart. Father Lord, I desire to trust you with all my heart. I know that your ways are above my ways and that I will never fully understand your ways. But help me to trust you. When the world is falling down around me and my life appears to be in shambles, help me to trust you and help me to reference you. Help me to trust you, Lord. When the world is falling down around me and my life appears to be in shambles, help me to trust you and help me to reference you. You are my father. Talk to him this morning. Help me to have a godly fear of you. You are my father. Help me to have godly fear of you, Lord. I know that you are good to me and true. But you also hate sin. Because you are righteous and holy. God, let me never feel separated from you so that I lose focus of your great love for me. Pray this morning. Father God, let me never feel separated from you so that I lose focus of your great love for me. But never let me become so relaxed with you, that I forget of your great and powerful holiness. Father God, I pray, let me never feel separated from you, so that I lose focus of your great love for me, but never let me become so relaxed with you, that I forget of your great and powerful holiness. Let me walk in the wisdom of your word all the days of my life. Pray this morning. 
you will see everywhere and wisdom is emphasized if you will lack wisdom say we should ask father lord this morning let me walk in wisdom of your word in all the days of my life in the name of jesus verse 6 of that psalm say he has shown his people the power of his works giving them the land of other nations let us pray that father show the power of your work oh lord and give me the heritage of the hidden in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, show me the power of your work, oh Lord, and give me the heritage of the hidden in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word say, he has shown his people the power of his works, giving them the land of other nations. Verse 9 said, he provided redemption for his people. He ordained his covenant forever, holy and wholesome is his name. Pray this morning. Lord, send your redemption to me. And let your covenant for my life stand forever. Lord God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ is our Redeemer. Redeem me, Lord. Redeem me. I don't know the way you need redemption this morning. Either in your health, your marriage, your business, your career, Tell him, Lord, this, this one need redemption. This marriage need, re need redemption. Oh, my soul, Lord, I have strayed away. Redeem me, redeem me, Lord. Send your redemption to me and let your covenant for my life stand forever. Let it stand forever, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray. That the cloud of darkness around you shall scatter unto desolation in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God says in Psalm 37, verse 4, it is written, And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. I repeat that. Psalm 37, verse 40. Someone need to claim that this morning. It says, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Tell him again, Father, this is your word. And I trust in you, Lord God Almighty. So, Lord, this morning, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from the wicked. Save me, Lord my God. Deliver me. Deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver me, Lord, this morning, I pray in the name of Jesus. And let us pray that, Lord, that which hinders me from greatness, begin to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God said this morning, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. I trust in the Lord this morning. Therefore, that which hinders me from greatness, begin to give way. That which hinders my children from great, great greatness, begin to give way. Begin to give way in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written, Psalm 37 verse 40. When you are using the scripture, that is how you should be doing it. You must be saying it, and then you pray. For it is written, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, every imprisoned and buried potential comfort now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every imprisoned of my children and potential of my two children. Every imprisoned and buried potential comfort now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every imprisoned and buried potential in the name of Jesus Christ. Comfort now. Comfort now in the name of Jesus. For everyone at the sound of my voice this morning, Hear the word of the Lord. It is written, the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. We've trusted the Lord. That is why we have come to pray this morning. Therefore, every imprisoned and buried potential, comfort now, comfort now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. I command all unfriendly helpers in every area of my life to depart in the name of Jesus Christ. All unfriendly helpers in the life of my children, in every area of my life, in my business, in my career, in my ministry, in my marriage. Mention it this morning. I command you to depart in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord will help me this morning. The Lord will deliver me. Declare this morning that the Lord, it is written, the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all unfriendly helpers in every area of my life, in every area of my family to depart. Depart in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus I render null and void the effect of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord will help them this morning and deliver them. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, in my life, in my children's life, in my grandchildren's life, I render null and void the effect of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I put down the stronghold of evil strangers in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, standing on the authority of the word of God this morning, we say Psalm 37 verse 40, that the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, I put down the stronghold of evil strangers in every area of my life, in every area of my family this morning, I put down every evil stranger in every area of our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that any negative transaction currently affecting my life negatively be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Any negative transaction currently affecting my life negatively in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray. I command all the dark works done against me in secret to be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all the dark works done against me and my family in secret to be exposed and be nullified. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command all the dark works done against me in secret to be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose myself from any dark spirit in Jesus' name. I lose myself from any dark spirit in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord, tell me mention it, because the Lord, the awesome God, the almighty God will help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. Therefore, I lose myself from any dark spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And I bring the blood of Jesus Christ between me and that, that that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring the blood of Jesus Christ between me and you. You that spirit. I bring the blood of Jesus Christ between me and you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that Father. Let all incantations against me be cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the Lord will help me this morning. The Lord will help me. The Lord will deliver me. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, let all incantations against me, let all incantations against my family be cancelled. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord will help us this morning. The Lord will deliver us this morning. For we have put our trust in him. The Lord will save us this morning. Therefore, I bind every strong man having my goods in his possession. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man having my goods in his possession. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in defeat in this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Lord has risen up for my help this morning. I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in defeat this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, I break the cause of automatic failure working upon my life. I break it in the name of Jesus, guys. I break the cause of automatic failure working upon my life, upon my children's life. I break it in the name of Jesus, guys. I break it by the power and the blood of Jesus, guys. Pray that, Lord, let the anointing to prosper for mightily upon me now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, let the anointing to prosper for mightily upon me, upon my children, upon my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, let every anti-progress altar fashioned against me be destroyed with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every anti-progress altar Fashion against me be destroyed with the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, because it is written, the Lord shall help them. The Lord shall deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, I command my destiny to begin to change to the better in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord will help us this morning. I command my destiny. I command my children's destiny. I command every member of my household destiny to begin to change. To the better in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God has come to us this morning. That the Lord shall help us. The Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. And save them because they trust in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord we thank you. We ask that lady hand. Every hand. That will be raised up against us. As a result of this prayer, let the hand wither in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that you want to retaliate, Father God Almighty, they come in one way according to your word, but they will be scattered. They will flee in several ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Gracious Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because it comforts our heart this morning that you said it, O Lord. That the Lord shall help them. The Lord shall deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord our God. We love you because you first love us. Hallelujah be to your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We continue our prayer for intercessory now. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your holy name. This morning we are interceding for church. Hallelujah. Body of Christ. Going to lift the body of Christ up in prayer. And the Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord has the word of God has promised that he will build his church and the gate of AIDS will not prevail over it. Father, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. I'll just read uh, some couple of Bible verses, then we'll begin to pray. The Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. These are just some verses for some of the churches. Say, for the church in Thessalonica, to this end we always pray for you, that our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power. That is Second Thessalonians verse one, chapter one verse eleven, and uh, Colossians chapter one verse nine to two say for the church in Colossus, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We will begin to pray this morning for unity in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning that we have unity in the body of Christ. You know, loving everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. 
people we have nothing in common with but the gospel because it is the gospel that has brought us together. So let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus that there will be unity in the body of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask this money in the name of Jesus that in the body of Christ there will be unity. In the name of Jesus, even amid the diversity, different tongues, uh, different nations, uh, oh, Father, Lord, we pray for unity in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus, even for the, uh, for the leaders in the church, you know, that they will be faithful elders, they will be faithful leaders, that they will use the scripture, you know, even for the members to do the work of ministry, you know, not not, not flesh, not what we, they, they think or we think uh, in the body of Christ, that the scripture oh, will be that, you know, will be the yastic uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for hunger, hunger for studying the word of God uh, in the name of Jesus, even among members uh, in the name of Jesus, because that is the only thing that can guide and guide us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Let us pray for transparent and meaningful relationship in the name of Jesus, that you will be the normal thing in the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that you know, the, the, the church of God eh, will be where one can go and be taught of the word of God and be taught of the Lord eh, and know of the Lord eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the church of God, the body of Christ, eh, you know, will be like an hospital where people can come in and be healed eh, and be saved eh, in the name of Jesus because the message of hope eh, it will be preached unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning in the name of Jesus that your church, oh Lord God, will be where hope can be found eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, eh, where people will come in eh, and there will be healing upon their bodies, upon their soul. There will be salvation. There will be restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we bless your holy name this morning as we lift, oh, Lord God, the body of Christ before your throne this morning. Lord, that you will hear us eh, concerning the body of Christ. Lord, you will hear us eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Lord, you will do that which only you can do. Lord, you will fulfill your promise, O Lord God. You will build your church eh? in the name of Jesus. Let us ask this morning that the Lord will forgive eh? every sin, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Eh? Every sin of prayerlessness, eh? every sin of powerlessness eh? in the body of Christ. Eh? Let us pray in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, Lord, we ask for mercy this morning in the name of Jesus, that you have mercy upon the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for spirit of brokenness eh? that will be released eh? upon the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? that will be broken in the name of Jesus, eh? so that the spirit of God eh, can move around within and among us eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus, eh? that the works of the flesh eh? in, the, in the body of Christ eh? will give way to the work of the spirit in our lives in the name of Jesus. Eh? Every work of the flesh eh? In the body of Christ, uh, we come against it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, Father Lord, that the power of the cross uh, and of the Holy Spirit uh, will be released to the throne flesh uh, in the body of Christ, uh, in the life, so Lord God, of every believer in the name of Jesus, because we we are the one that make up the church. Uh, so, Father Lord, this morning, in the name of Jesus, uh, we pray that the power of the cross eh, and the power of the Holy Spirit eh, will be released eh, upon the body of Christ eh, to dethrone flesh eh, in each of our lives. Eh. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ eh, will be truly established in the body of Christ eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh, that for the purpose that for which he came, O Lord God, will be established, will be fulfilled eh, in the body of Christ. Eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will grant unto the body of Christ, eh, you know, the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ forgives, eh, you know, the mind of of. Christ, eh, it tolerates this tolerance. Eh. Oh, the mind of Christ will have genuine repentance, understanding. Oh, the mind of Christ eh, will be submissive eh, to the Holy Spirit. Eh. The mind of Christ is humble. Oh, there's is broken eh. in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father Lord, this morning, we pray you, Father Lord, eh, that you will grant unto the body of Christ eh, the mind of Christ. Eh. A mind that is forgiving, a mind that is tolerant, that will be tolerant of each for each other. That Father Lord eh, will have understanding, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, eh, as we understand your word and bring it to practice, eh, we will have understanding even for ourselves eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, the mind of Christ eh, is so uh, submits eh, to the Holy Spirit, eh, that the body of Christ will submit to the Holy Spirit eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh, a mind of Christ is humble, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father Lord, eh, let humility, O oh Lord God, be the clothes that we wear in the name of Jesus in the body of Christ, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father Lord, eh, eh, the mind of, oh, 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 of Christ, eh, commend other people, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father Lord, eh, let it be this, O oh Lord God. Grant all this unto us eh, in the body of Christ, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father Lord, eh, we want to come against eh, every forces, every spirit of disobedience eh, in, the, in the in the body of Christ. Eh. Oh, Father Lord, this money we challenge it, we pull it down. Oh, every spirit of disobedience eh, in the name of Jesus, eh, in the body of Christ, eh, oh, in the lives of, oh, 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 of our brethren, eh, in the name of Jesus, the name above all names. Say, we pull it down this morning. We challenge that spirit of disobedience this morning. In the name of Jesus, we challenge it. We pull it down in the body of Christ. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Father Lord, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus eh? that the test and the hunger for God and for holiness. Eh? Oh, Father Lord, eh? pray in us, in the body of Christ. Eh? In the name of Jesus, eh? great the test and hunger for God and holiness eh? in the name of Jesus. Let holiness be our watchword eh? in the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us ask this morning in the name of Jesus that the Lord will revive eh? the body of Christ eh? in the name of Jesus that he will send down the fire of revival unto the body of Christ. Eh? Oh, Father Lord, eh? send down your fire. Send down your fire in the body of Christ. Eh? Oh, we want your fire to burn, your fire of revival. Let it burn in the body of Christ. Eh? Revive us, O oh Lord God. Revive our soul. Revive us back unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Help us, O oh Lord God, to breathe you, O oh Lord God, to leave you, O oh Lord God. Revive us, revive body of Christ, O oh Lord. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, Lord, we ask God this morning as we lift before you, oh, Lord God, all the ministers, the pastor, the reverend, whatever name they have, Father, Lord, all the ministers of God. Father, Lord, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus, eh? oh, Father, that you will refresh them in the name of Jesus, eh? that you will break them down. You will fill them with your power, with your Holy Spirit, eh? and use them afresh, oh, Lord God, for your work eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Use them afresh, Father, Lord. Use them afresh. Make them a fresh vessel, oh, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Let your word, oh, Lord God, fill them, the, 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 their body body, soul, and spirit eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father, Lord, as we continue to pray for all our ministers, the pastors, and the reverend, the evangelists, the teachers, oh, Lord God, 
Father, Lord, we are praying for power, for effective prayer in their life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Father, Lord, uh, give unto them, O oh Lord God, power for effective prayer life, O oh Lord God. That they will always be in place of prayer. That is the only way they can hear you. That they will always be in place of, of, of knowing you more, reading your word, learning your word, studying your word. Uh, oh, Father, Lord. Grant this unto them, O Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will release labor unto the body of Christ. A faithful one, a obedient laborers into the body of Christ, O Lord God. That are faithful, they are committed, they are dedicated, and they are obedient, that are ready, O Lord God. To, 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 to step onto this field eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, even as you release faithful, committed, obedient laborers, oh Lord God, into your vineyard, oh Lord God, to do your work, oh Lord God, to bring people unto you, to break down the, the dominance of evil over the souls of men, in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, Lord, thank you for spirit of steadfastness, eh? for spirit of hunger and thirst for the word of God eh? that will come eh? even upon the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, to you alone be all the glory, to you alone be all the honor this morning because your blessings, oh Lord God, will come down. The blessing of your beauty and of your glory will come down upon the body of Christ eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Your blessings, oh Lord God, of being dedicated eh? of being committed to your work eh, will come down upon the body of Christ this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you even for the blessings, oh, Lord God, of working of miracles, the blessings of the world of knowledge eh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, to you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor and adoration this morning. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you because we know that you have heard us concerning the body of Christ, eh, that you will do wonders in our midst, O oh Lord God, that you will revive the body of Christ to your own glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Eh, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name.